Time out is Kelsey, though. Spirit coach getting you in shape and form. For the new age. Once again. Shout out to all y'all in the house. Don't know who you talking about. I put that on the Bible. And you know. Shout out to Drizzy. Shout out to Drizzy. Shout out to Drizzy Drake. Don't know who you talking about. I put that on the Bible. And we're going to talk about this. This, this. this a little bit. Because don't know. Because it seems like y'all like to use this to judge people. And I ain't talking about everyone. You know what I'm saying? Not not the soul group. You know what I'm saying? Not people who know me for, for real. But it seems like this is like... Y'all use this to judge other people's character. And also y'all use this to judge uh, your own selves and shit like that. And based on, and that's fine. You know what I'm saying? I think we can all use a mentality. You know what I'm saying? We could all use some structure in our minds. We can all use some, um, you know what I'm saying? Some virtues and principles and knowing what shit is and things. But when you like kind of cling to this, like in the way that it's taught, you know what I'm saying? Um, in the way that it's taught, you know what I'm saying? Not look at it from the actual aspect that it was made for. Or not look at the actual aspect that it was made from, which is just somebody um, expressing their own virtues and principles. You know what I'm saying? So you need to understand that. Okay? But yeah, but don't, don't know who you talking about. I put that on the Bible. Okay? Because... Like I said, it seems like y'all kind of use that thing to kind of character judge. And it really, it just be coming off like y'all character judging y'all self and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like y'all see something and y'all be like, oh, no, I wouldn't do that. What would I do? Oops. Instantly, your mind go to the Bible and that'd be kind of crazy. Like, it'd be like, what would I do? And it's like, OK, you know what I'm saying? I understand we have to have some type of literature to come together to see what's right and what's wrong and things of that nature and have a source. But the way you're sourcing the information is the wrong way. OK, because first of all, the language in the literature of what we're interpreting. Shout out to Sai Maja. That's my boy. I'm going to be in L.A. real soon. Yiddy. OK, but yeah. So, um. Yeah, so you know, you you kind of you kind don't know who you're talking about. I put that on the Bible, but yeah, cause they you cause you know, y'all use that to character judge, but you, know, you like you clean it to like mind frames that you ain't even interpreting the right way, in the right way it was lit. I mean, writ- written for you, it was written for you, in a sense of these um, stories is talking about yourself. Right. And so that what they made y'all do is externalize the God figure. You know what I'm saying? And so you're looking at it backwards. You know what I'm saying? You, you're not seeing as God is within you, like the Bible actually said. You kind of seeing it as a history book and calling him a he or some type of, I don't know, being that is that y'all making up literally like y'all just make y'all literally making it up and like can't even point to like any types of facts of where you're kind of getting this information from, like, except another man's mind. And so it's just like, um, shout out to flight balls. Like he said, you just go into infinite regress and you just start regressing and you can't find a source. So you forever lost. And that just don't make no sense. But when we talking about the Bible, don't know who you talking about. I put that on the Bible. We're going to get into something because I'm going to show you how to interpret a scripture. And um, it, it just takes common sense. But it also under, it takes understanding the literature and the aspect of where it was wrote from. These certain words, certain words mean have certain virtues and principles and understandings behind them. So when you say something um, like um, um, um um, men and women, these are virtues and principles for masculine and feminine, right? You know, um, it's, it's, it's speaking to an energy. It's speaking to a, a source of substance. And if you can understand how to um, um, open your fucking mind up and go there and look at what the fuck they're talking about, you'll understand. That's why they draw 
in um, the pictures and fucking um, what is it called? In the in the um, in the um, the Mason the Mason uh, the Mason art the Mason Mason artistry. Okay, so you know what I'm saying it's, it's depicting a certain. That's why it's, it's art is for interpretation. God damn it, that's simple as that. So if you if you understand that they're interpreting well, it's an interpretation of art. You understand a lot of this shit means some shit. You know what I'm saying? The man on the cross, the the cross represents your body. You know what I'm saying? That that's a man, but it represents your mentality though. So it's just like, you know what I'm saying? And anytime you motherfucking uh get lost in your mentality, bloop, motherfucker, uh, you die with it. Fire, burn, burn, you lost in your mentality. So it's just like you lost in, and you don't have no type of motherfucking real information to get out of it. But yeah, let's get to the actual, what I want to talk about right here, because somebody read the scripture and I was like, oh my God, how are you, do- why are you doing it like that? It's not supposed to be read like that. But look, we'll, we'll, we're, we're going to do it right now, so. It was this one um, For the wrath of God is revealed um, From heaven against all ungodliness And unrighteousness of man Okay, so when they talking about wrath all right, so what does wrath mean? It's so that's anger, right? You can already see right here with, with the numerology of one and eight. One is separation, eight is time. Okay, so you know what I'm saying this is somebody separating for something, giving a time to, they giving a time to. All right, but let's keep going. So for the wrath, the anger of God, of God is you, you, for the anger of God is revealed from heaven. Okay, in Jewish literature, what does heaven mean? Uh, um, thoughts, okay, against all ungodliness. So what is, so what is saying off back? Hold on, let me get these. Let me get this note out. Cause don't know who you talking about. I put that on the Bible. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven. Okay, so the anger, like I said, anger of of you. Your God, your God is revealed because that's what they're talking about. Just you and having the space of all possibilities is revealed from heaven. Heaven represents your thoughts, your thinking against all ungodliness. So anytime you are, you are, uh, for, hold on, you said good breakdowns. Yeah, for sure. I'm, hold on. Let me get to, give me one second, one second. Okay, we back with it. We back with it. My bad, y'all. Okay, yeah, let's get it. Okay, so for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness. A man, what does it say? What does it say right here? Uh, hold the truth. Who hold the truth in unrighteousness? Okay, so let's break this down real quick because it's going to be real quick and easy. Okay, so for the anger of you is shown, uh, is shown from you not thinking you're you. Okay. So anytime, so for, for the wrath, wrath, anger of God is revealed from the think thoughts represent thinking against all ungodliness. So if you got, anytime you start to think you, not you, this is when you motherfucking create a motherfucking, you, you start creating anger. You start getting angry because you start seeing things not going the right way in your life and shit like that. So anytime you, you, you start thinking against who you are, your mentality, your thoughts, this is when you, um, this is when you, um, this is when, this is when you feel angry. Boom. That's one. That's separating from something you giving your time to. Hey, all right. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men. Okay. So anytime you oppose the idea of yourself, you know what I'm saying? This is how you be. This is how this is you be creating unrighteous thoughts, unrighteous men and shit like that. So basically your shit ain't going right because you're not adding on as a man you're not using your masculine energies now don't get lost in men and women but i'm i'm talking about masculine and and, and feminine those are principles so masculine is externalizing and um and feminine is uh uh, internalizing so anytime you see men in the bible that's what that means 
You know what I'm saying? So anytime you don't extern- externalize what's on your motherfucking self, your God, you don't externalize your God. This is when you become unrighteous because you're not you're you're you're, you're you not using your principles. You know what I'm saying? You have to see yourself to actually reflect, aka, and this is how you become unrighteous. Right means, right is like a feminine principle because it's like bringing it together. That's why the feminine is right brain. Left is more so like the, um, left is more so on the masculine brain and shit, but these is all uh, allegories for your, your chakra system, aka your masculine, your masculine um, half, which will be your Libra through the first house and your your um, aka your hip t- to your head, and then the feminine would be the motherfucking um, um, seventh house to the feet, and that's like your lower chakras that you, you know what I'm saying um, you can't um, that that can be underwater, and then your higher chakras can't be under there because it's, it's it's made for you to externalize. It's made for a certain density that you necessarily live in and shit like that. But yeah, let's keep on continue. All right, so for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness. So for for the wrath, which is anger, of you is revealed from thinking against you. So don't think against yourself. Know your goddamn self, period, point blank, and unrighteousness of man. So think motherfucking, think motherfucking, and, and, and express yourself, externalize, you know what I'm saying? That's how your shit will go right. You know what I'm saying? It don't if you can't have no idea about yourself, then your motherfucking feminine can't respond to that shit. You know what I'm saying? It can't respond from that shit. It ain't got no direction, and now it's just we we flunk, flunk, flunk. Shout out to Dolo. Flunk, flunk, flunk. All right. Uh, yeah. So who hold truth and unrighteousness? And that's it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't know who you talking about. I put that on the Bible, but yeah, a, 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 a regular Christian to read that shit, right? And this is how they look at it. And I'm going to show y'all how they look at it. Let me show y'all how they look at it. This is this how they going to look at it when they read that shit. Okay. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven. So they first, first of all, they mind is thinking of somebody else already for the wrath of God. Like God is is not is not you, you know what I'm saying? Not nah, that's 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 the mind state these people were writing it from. You not know, people hear me say that and say, Oh, he he a demon or he because he think he God and shit. No, motherfucker, just learn where the source of the Jewish literature came from. They weren't they didn't they didn't see the language like you seeing it. You took that and and got lost in things. So you just gotta chill a little bit. But yeah. Yo, so for the wrath of God is um, revealed from heaven against all ungodliness, right? So anytime you think you're not you, this is when you become ungodly, motherfucker. <laughs> so stop thinking God is not you. That's how they made. That's how they made it to interpret. You know what I'm saying? But y'all use that God as y'all. Y'all can't be that, and that's how they show y'all that they. You know what I'm saying? They, they, their literature and shit is just better than you. And this is why you feel like you ain't shit. And this is why you're not manifesting in the space that the motherfuckers who wrote this shit and actually running the world with this shit from. So it's just, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Samaja. He says, Jewish literature, how you twist it. For sure. Shout out to Infinite Flow. Yeah, because we be using it all the time. And we just, you know... That's what it is. So, you know what I'm saying? This is a, a video really about literature. You know what I'm saying? And, how, and, and, and sourcing and interpreting. But yeah. So, um, 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 yeah. So, that, so that was Romans 118. But yeah, this is like a book of spells just showing you certain mind frames. AKA, when, like they said, when you not in your motherfucking God state, you know what I'm saying? And your God, AKA you believing in that all possibilities, you know what I'm saying? All possibilities to be yourself. This is, um, this is, this is when you, um, start having thoughts against yourself and shit like that. But you, you might think you a human. You might think God outside of you. So yeah, you might, you might think you like an interpretation of a human picture or whatever they fed you through, you know, media or whatever. And and what they taught you, you were, and you not seeing yourself like that, and so it's just like that's 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 when you that's when you interpret it wrong, 
And so, oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So let's 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 see how they uh, Christian interpret it. They interpret it like, um, and not even, not even the people that's into like, uh, like apologetics and shit like that. You gotta be into this shit for real if you feel like, cause they not, they wasn't thinking about it like your monkey brain that they taught you in your your neighborhood churches and things. But yeah. So for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness. So they think anytime this is this means basically they 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 ter- they interpret it but they are inverted. So they'll be like the wrath of the God whatever outside of them is revealed from heaven from from wherever God is at against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men. And so whoever going to teach them what what is unrighteousness and what is um ungodliness this was this is what they going this is what they going um use as to measure themselves up to whatever um they feel righteousness is and then from that space what they going to do is is um and so when shit not going in a um uh, right in their life because they don't know how to interpret this when shit not don't go the right way in their life they going to look at this scripture and be like, oh, God must be punishing me. It must be angry. Yeah, motherfucker, because you don't know how to interpret it. <laughs> Period. That's it. You don't know how to interpret it. That's why. And you lost in a whole different way of you just lost, lost. And you're not even thinking about it right the way. And I can't even help you at that point. So, you know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I grew up Jehovah Witness breaking that programming was liberating. Liberating. Shout out to Infinite Flow. Now I feel you, yeah. I grew up I grew up in that shit too. You know what I'm saying? We all grew up like that. All in the crack crack the crackhead mind. You know what I'm saying? Crackhead mind. Need the the mind that need uh that need a little help, you know what I'm saying? So it's just cool though, you know. It's like I was a crackhead too. Shit, I was a mental crackhead too. AKA shit, I didn't know how to think about myself or, or my or what I did with my body, my virtues and principles and without that, you know, that book for a little minute. I mean, it was just a more so an information thing for me, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, you know, when shit start not going right in your life. You and you, you, you think you're doing the right thing based on what's righteousness or what they taught you to be righteous and shit. You like, well, God said He wasn't going to be angry at me, and I, and you, that's why it's just shit. It's reverse psychology at your finest. Okay, shout out to Jaboom Boom, man. Hey, I appreciate it that uh that um y'all make sure y'all check in with Jaboom. He got a uh, um. I don't even know how to interpret it. I think it's like an episode, like a, a rehearsal almost. Like so, shout out to Jaboom. Make sure y'all follow him and shit. He got clubhouses going on. She said, "When I get caught in my mind, I ask myself, are you ready to let yourself off the hook?'" Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that happens. You know, we all be asking ourselves, like, "Are we ready to go? Are we ready to go?" But yeah, we be getting lost in interpreting language and all type of shit. But it's really, all this shit is about resonance and spirituality and faith and all type of shit. And then once you just know the simple shit, like, you don't gotta get your mind caught up in no, um, caught up in no witchcraft and shit and shit like that. And now you think something outside of you in the sky finna come out, come get you or something like that. And that shit weird. That shit weird, dog. All right. Can't be thinking like that, dog. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, make sure y'all tap into Dolo the pilot man too, because like he be really going in on this shit too. Like I just, I'm just motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Through through this one at me and shit like that. So it's just like, you know what I'm saying? I just had to smoking on yo. What's the name tonight, nigga? Tonight. Don't know who you talking about. I put that on the Bible. The program now is it. The amount of people coming out that program now, some being led into the remix of it. <coughs> <Ooh. coughs> right. Yeah. 
Yeah, the remix of it is the new um, religion. Do you believe in love? That's a love. Do you believe in COVID virus? If you get the jab, I give it back. Do you believe in a booster shot? This almost out. I got to roll another one. You know what I'm saying? We can't be lost, y'all. Yeah, shout out to Cher. Cher, and that's what we do. We share knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Hey, do you believe in What y'all, y'all be believing in? All type of shit. Y'all think, man. Y'all think so, some shit. Y'all creative. Y'all lost in the mind. You know what I'm saying? Not every anybody in here, but I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? The people, them, them types of people. Look, it's okay. You don't gotta but you don't got to. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta be lost no more. You know what I'm saying? It's like proofs in the puddings. And shit like that. It's proofs in the puddings. Go get you a pudding. There's proof in it. Go get you a pudding. Go get some pudding. Sit down at the table and be like, all right, it's proofs in the pudding. I ain't got to be there no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, like, it's proof in that pudding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, so that's it. But yeah, other than that, you know what I'm saying? We got motherfucking New, or the new Moon and Aqua coming up. Shout out to my Aquarius sis. Out there, you know what I'm saying? Shaw, Shaw days. I'm talking about Aquarius. I, like, I don't got them qualities too, but sometimes shit, you need to separate to know yourself and shit. And then a part of knowing yourself as God is just knowing you ain't shit. And shit, so that way you don't get lost in nothing. You know what I'm saying? You got, you know what I'm saying? You more fluid. You know, you know, you more flowy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Infinite Flow. Here we got what we got. That's what we got. Infinite Flows. Infinite Flow. I got music for days. I got music for days. I'll play some, I'll play some shit right now. I promise you. But no, but yeah, other than that, you know what I'm saying? We got New Moon and Aquarius. So Aquarius is the uh, 11th house. So it rules our associations. How we associate our individuality. Okay, and also backed and supported by reality and also being unique and changing and innovating reality. And goddamn, we doing a good job of that, kind of just associating, just putting, you know what I'm saying, our magic together and being ourselves and not being, giving the fuck the shit about no um, thought police. You know what I'm saying? We blew them shits up. All the tanks, we set them all on fire. We don't really care about them no more, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, they asked for it. Okay, <clears throat> they asked for it. But yeah, you can be yourself again in these times. Yeah, a new self. Yeah. A new individuality. Yay. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. We're doing a great fucking job. Absolutely, absolutely. Clap. All right. But yeah, so you can associate yourself. You ain't gotta be. You ain't gotta be scared to be yourself. People like myself and others is making that comfortable for you now. Just don't come with no fool games and no witchcraft because we will tear your ass apart. And you don't get get your ass torn apart, okay? Shit like that, cause we don't come with that energy. You tear yourself apart, right? But yeah, um. Don't know who you talking about. I put that on the Bible. So yeah, it's a it's a new world and it's a new it's a new um individual uh aspect where we can kind of be ourselves. And yes, things will come as test sis tests. Yeah, I said tests to ch to test your ass to see what you what you being. So it's it's time to put the work in as an individual. It's time to speak out. It's time to talk about it. It's time to be it. It's time to 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 be real about it. Okay, it's time to show up mentally, show your mentality. So if you think you, if you think you, if you are what you say you are, you could be a goddamn superstar. You just don't know how to motherfucking do that shit. That thing is like, you know what I'm saying? You know, you do it in an inverted way, you'll find the negatives of that. 
So it's just about being yourself in some way, shape, or form. And all that adversity that come to you, them just your number one fans. You know what I'm saying? Spirits and, and the spirits and adversity like to hop into all type of bodies, mental bodies. You know what I'm saying? You can get a thought, aka you can feel ungodly and not think you yourself and shit like that or whatever type of um, godly space that you should be in as a spirit. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, because you are here, you are important, you created this, and shit, and now we all creating this together. So, don't know who you talking about. I put that on the Bible. It's important, okay? It's important to, to, to be yourself mentally, okay? That's how you show up. <clears throat> That's how you show up, all right? But yeah, but other than that, you know, new moon in Aquarius. So it's a new way to talk your shit, new way to be yourself. That's simple, man. Just do that. Just do that, do that, do do that, that, that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's that simple. Um, But yeah, um, I, I would be doing all the alignments. But I think for the most part, we just got a shitload of planets in. Um, we got a shitload of planets in Capricorn, okay? We got like Capricorn stellium right now, so you got motherfucking Pluto there, you got Venus there, you got Mercury retrograde there, you got uh Mars there, okay? So it's a lot of shit happening, it's a lot of shit out here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit out here, champ. Okay? There's a lot of shit out here, champ. It's a lot of new, not a lot of new forms building. We building new bodies, okay? We're building new bodies, so you better hop in your motherfucking form, and you better take control of that shit, aka you better get your form right. You know what I'm saying? When they say, you know, everybody got their little jump shot differently. You know what I'm saying? Kobe hit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you know. Everybody play different. Everybody got their form different. So you better hop into your form and use that bitch the way God made it for you. AKA all the thoughts and was on your mind from, from you when you was accumulating as a child to know what the fuck you want to do. <clears throat> she said my Neptune in cap. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you need to accumulate all the shit that you wanted to see throughout your motherfucking you know, your lifetime and shit like that. And take care, to take care of that form, you know what I'm saying, right now. But when the moon get into Aquarius, you know what I'm saying, we're going to be more so starting to associate this in a new way <clears throat> and shit like that. So get with your motherfucking people, a.k.a., you know what I'm saying, from the people that is, you know, within you because you're a person that came out of a person. So what makes you think you don't got people within you but they might not play out like human beings. They more so just play out like uh, energy, energy, and sp well, not energy. Yeah, well, you can say energy because it's space within space. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so that's what we all doing and shit like that. So yeah, know your stars. Know your stars. Kelsito. He is done for today. And I love y'all. Peace.